Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. We've moved. We're in a, uh, a rental uh, for hopefully not more than a year while we look for our next home. In the meantime, the cooking goes on. So it's winter 2019, uh, late January, and nothing really says winter like soup. I don't have it during the summer a lot just because I hate having hot food in the summer. Uh, in Arizona, it's just too much uh, to deal with with cooking and all that. So I like to have cold meals during the summer. But during the winter, when it gets down to the 50s, uh, we get cold and soup is perfect. So I've got a really good one for you today. This is a standard soup that I've made for years. It's lentil vegetable soup. It's got some great stuff in it. Uh, and I've converted it to an Instapot recipe. So if you've got an Instapot for uh, the holidays, um, this is your time to pull it out and get started. We've got some great uh, ingredients, all whole foods. Uh, we've got some uh, carrots that I've uh, chopped up just into some slices. We've got some uh, celery here that's chopped up. I'm throwing some leeks in there. I absolutely love leeks. Even though we're going to have onions, I really like the, the enhancement that leeks gives this recipe. We've got some uh, yellow onion uh, all chopped up there into a small dice. We've got a uh, nice amount of uh, dinosaur kale. I don't know how to pronounce the dinosaur kale actual name. Is it Lacinto or something with an L? I just call it dinosaur kale. And then we've got a cup of uh, red lentils that I've washed them off. I haven't soaked them, but I've just rinsed them off to make sure they're clean. At the end, we're gonna squeeze in some lemon. We've got a bay leaf also, um, but, and a little bit of salt. Uh, I know I try not to cook with salt, but you kind of, I did it without the salt and it just doesn't taste the same. And we're gonna do it all right here in the Instapot, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, make sure it's plugged in and we're just gonna dump all our stuff in there. So the first thing we get started here is the uh, vegetables. So I'm gonna take the carrots and put them in. So we've got our carrots in there. We're gonna stick in the, uh, the onions here. Next I've got my celery all chopped up here. So the carrots are about five uh, whole carrots that I've chopped up. The celery is four to five uh, stalks that I you know, chop the ends off and use the clean part. The leek, leeks come in different sizes. Either it's an entire small leek or a half of a large leek, right? It all depends on the size you get, right? So we're gonna throw in everything except for the kale and the lemon, all right? So next I've got one cup of uh, red lentils that I've uh, rinsed. They're wet, so they've kind of stuck together here. And then as far as the liquid, um, I'm using 32 ounces, four cups of vegetable broth. Everything I'm using is organic. Uh, I just prefer to do that. You can use however you want. Um, you might want to shake it up first just to make sure all the, well, I guess the whole thing's going in, but just so there's nothing left in the bottom. So this is uh, four cups or 32 ounces, this whole box here. Uh, vegetable broth. I'm using low sodium broth. I've used like the chickenless broth on this and I've used just the vegetable broth. It tastes just as good either way so I don't know that it needs to be one or the other. And then I'm putting an additional two cups of uh, water filtered in the Berkey. My next ingredient here is going to be one bay leaf. Before I put that in I'm just going to stir this up a bit right? just so I don't break up the bay leaf accidentally. I don't want that to happen. Right. You can see here all the vegetables are kind of, you know, mixed really nice. You can see the carrots there. You can see the, the celery. It's all got a nice little mix on it. Right. So that looks pretty good. And we're going to put in the bay leaf right here. Right. Just kind of give that a little mix, kind of get the bay leaf wet. But I don't want to be too rough with it because I don't want to break it up. Right. And then we're just going to put a little sprinkle of salt in. I don't want to really salt it up, um, but this recipe does need some salt in it. Okay, so that looks pretty nice and mixed up. Let's go ahead and put the uh, Instant Pot uh, cover on. All right, so with the Instant Pot, we're going to do a pressure cooking, all right? You want to make sure the top is in the sealing position, so it pressure cooks. All right, we're going to set this to uh, manual here. High pressure, five minutes, manual. 
And it'll take a little while for this to get to the point where it's ready to do pressure cooking, but then it'll start and it'll pressure cook for five minutes. So that's our next step. And that should be the hardest part of this recipe. All right, so while we're doing this, one, did you notice my new glasses? I got these over the, the holiday. Um, I now have to wear glasses at 54 years old. Um, so I'm having to make it look good for you. And also, if you haven't already, uh, hit the like button. Do that now. Uh, and please subscribe if you're watching this. We would love to uh, bring you more videos. Uh, and hopefully uh, you're enjoying what you see. All right, so five minutes, this will be done. We'll see you then. Okay, that sound means the uh, Instant Pot is done. So, the five minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. So we'll let that uh, do its thing here for a few minutes. I'm really slow to get on board with stuff like this. I, I am very traditional. I love to cook in the pots on the, the, the cooktop. Um, I'm okay with the soup taking four or five hours. Uh, I, you know, pressure cooking is not something that I've done a lot of. So, you know, the whole multi-cooker, the means the pot is just a multi-cooker, it's just a brand, but the whole multi-cooker thing is really taking over because a lot of my family got these things for, uh, for, for the holidays and uh, I want to give them some options on what they can do with it. So this soup is a really good option for that. So this Instant Pot, most of them, have some type of little thing on the top that drops down when, uh, when the, the pressure is released enough to open it. And you can hear it too. Um, I'm just listening to that. It'll just be like a little click and I'll know it's ready to open. And there it goes. So the pressure indicator has dropped. Uh, so it is now telling us that, and of course there's no more steam coming out. It's now telling us that it's safe to open the top. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we have here. This is the part that I hate. All right, let's see what we have. All right, let's grab the bay leaf out of there. There it is right there. Looking pretty good. All right, so at this point, we're gonna take the uh, kale, right? And we're gonna put it in now. If we put it in before, it would've got, just turned to mush from the pressure cooking. So we'll just drop it in right now. And we'll mix that up a little bit. Looking good. And then we'll take the juice of uh, half a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon out right here. And then, because I don't want the seeds, I'll pour it through a little strainer. This is very old school, but you know, you know me, I like uh, things traditional, so. And then the soup should be done, right? This soup is still kind of like, you know, almost bubbling, so it's still pretty hot. When you throw the kale in, you don't need to cook it. The kale will instantly, you know, be uh, com uh, combined with the soup. Let's see what we have. Looking good. I gotta give this a minute to, uh, to cool down because I don't wanna scorch my tongue and have three days of scabs on my tongue and not be able to taste anything. Mm. Wow. It's perfect. All right. I'm a believer of the Instant Pot. I make this on the cooktop all the time. I've made it for years. I absolutely love this soup. This is absolutely delicious. It's got a very slight lemon taste. You can leave the lemon out. Sometimes I forget to put it in, but it doesn't really overpower because I'm not a lemon fan. So it's got a very slight taste. The bay leaves give it, gives it a, a really great flavor, right? Um, all the vegetables are just combined together. It tastes like when you were growing up, you know, your mom would give you that Campbell's chicken soup and I mean, it was so full of salt and it was horrible for you, but it tasted really good. That's kind of the, you know, the comfort or, you know, the familiarness that this soup has. Um, so this is a really good option for the Instant Pot. The first Instant Pot recipe of 2019, lentil vegetable soup. Please hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you think, and we'll see you next time. I'm amazed at how fast this video went without having to work with someone else. You know what I mean. What do you mean I have no cameo in this
video.